Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Asibal Elish and today we have a very exciting episode ahead of us. We are going to finally tackle the new content from this last chapter of Sorcery. We are going to go into the dungeon of Kurak and try to defeat him. I've made a very good job of not spoiling myself of any details of that dungeon. So we don't even know how to get in. I'm just assuming is by the Mechamosis Spire. First we need to get some preparation done. We have to reset the timer of our armor by going into the den and doing a small killing spree over there. I want to craft our venom infused daggers and a star metal weapon because star metal does more damage to golems and if there's golems inside it might come in handy. I'm not sure if it works the other way around but we're going to find out. Okay so let's get started by going into the den. I also have our sorcerer's skulls with me just to get another crafted thrall. We should bring the horse, but that's fine. We'll just go by foot for a little bit. These guys shouldn't be too a big challenge to us. I am coming by myself because in order to reset the timer, we need to do the killing ourselves. I can taste your stench, human. Okay. All right, so we went through the den just to top up our armor. It's at 100% now. We got some goodies. No imp important thralls, though. We did bring our skulls. Let's get some obulus out of this. All right. We have 129 obulus. Let's get a couple of crafters, then. This one... The Exile Traders, there's a Slave Master, yeah, the Slaver. Let's get a Worker and another Worker. We got a Tanner and a Smelter. Very, very well. Now, we didn't bring... Now, we didn't bring Corpse Mirror with us, which was a mistake. So, we have to drop stuff. Stone Guardian pieces. Are the first to go that goes hmm the steel fire goes okay now we just return to base okay now we are going to the narrow neck span get some sacrificial blood some sand beast glands and let's see what we can do This guy is down. Well, this is awkward. Come into the light, child. Let's just see what we have here. That's a crafter. Uh, nothing special. Well, we can lure them closer to our base. So it's going to be easier to just get the sacrifices up there real quick. Now, I'm not sure why I'm getting sacrificial blood. It's one of those things that it's not going to hurt us to have. And I'm not sure if you're going to need it to get into the dungeon or to just... I don't know. <laughs> that guy's the winner. Uh, let's just get this over with real quick. You guys can't see this because it's just too, too violent.
Okay, right now we are going to go into the direction of the sand swept ruins to kill the sand beasts and get their glands so we can craft some venom infused weapons. We already did some sacrificing. Okay, we are arriving at the sand swept ruins, that's those ruins over there. And it is guarded by these nasty cats that we came here to farm today. So let's get that started. After these guys and crafting a couple of weapons, we will be ready to face Kurak. I hope we will be ready. Alright, not sure what to use, but maybe a skinning knife. Well, that worked. Alright, another sand, sand Reaper Bile. Let's get another one. Usually I just avoid these guys, but we are at a game stage where we can deal with them, especially with these three monster of zombies. Can get some feral flesh from these guys to feed our zombies. We need to take a few extra ones because we're over here and there's not a lot of reasons to come so close to this place. Oh, there's a, a tablet here that I am going to read because I don't think I ever read this one or listened to it. This will be the last one and then we will go home and craft our really really cool venom infused weapons. Okay, so you can have this, you can have this, and you can have this. Sounds about right. We can give everything else to Corpse Mirror so it's not weighing us down. Um, 
that we won't need. All right, let's go back home. Uh, closest way to go should be their narrow neck span. We have another transmitter stone there, but we're kind of in the middle. Okay, we are back at the old Neptune base. Let's start by creating our venom infused daggers. We do need a fragment of power. We saved two of those to make statues, but I'm going to just use it to make a weapon. I also want to make a star metal mace. Just so... Okay, we need to make a handle. Just so we have a star metal weapon, in case there's a lot of golems inside. Alright, there's the handle. Star metal. The guy that is crafting our weapons is our edge smith. So we don't have extra damage, but we do have extra armor penetration. It's not as good, but I'm not going to wait for a bladesmith to craft our high tier weapons. The, the higher tier one will just recraft those weapons. We have the materials, so. Let's get up here because I do want to change how our weapons are presented. I want to repair that. Misha's Bite has served us well, but we are not going to need it anymore. I want to make this and combine this one. And the sword as well. The appearance is this one. The source stats is this one. And we have a really cool predatory blade now. The venom infused daggers I'm just going to leave as it is because they look cool enough. I'm not sure if I have enough materials to craft the damage improvement. Maybe I do. Advanced weapon. So we will need some oil and some hardened steel. Hardened steel I think we have somewhere. Yeah we do. The oil I am not sure. Oh, but we do have some oil here. I think it's enough, which is great. Right, let's craft. Yep, we can craft two of those. Oh, do we need three? Yeah, we need three. Forty-eight, twenty-eight. Fifty-four. Okay, that's a good improvement. This one has ninety-seven. 103 and on our daggers okay so let's take things like this if there's a lot of golems we might end up mining a lot of stuff so I would like to have our pickaxe repaired as well it's unlikely that we would break it all the way but we have quite a few legendary weapon repair kits on us, so it's fine. Okay, I think this is it. We go to the Sinkhole Obelisk and then go up to the Mechamosa Spire. And I'm very excited for our adventure to start. Very, very excited. It is new content that I haven't explored yet. I know nothing about. And that's a feeling I haven't had in Conan Exiles for a while now. Where's... So... We just... We just follow that... Beam of light in the sky... Uh, well, this... Isn't... We're not off to a good start. Not a problem though, not a problem. Luckily we do enjoy a bit of climbing, so... Let's get started. In order to get into the dungeon, my train of thought is maybe we need some sacrificial blood. I didn't bring any blood crystals. I wanted to bring some because maybe we need those as well. Uh, if we cannot 
get inside right away. Maybe we have to wait for an eclipse because that's also an integral part of this chapter. All right, we are up at Mechamosis' spire. Let's see. We can get in here. We came here really early on. Uh, our armor is almost halfway done. We have to hurry up and start killing stuff. Oh, that's the loudmouth sacrifice over there. He's taking a lot of time to sacrifice her. Okay. Now. We need 30. <laughs> we need 30 blood crystals. Of course we do. Um, of course we do. That's the thing I forgot is the thing we need. This is a traitor. Severed head of Kurak. Okay. Uh, maybe going back to base is the safe bet here. We could... Mm. Let's just go back to base real quick. Okay, we are back at old Neptune base. We are going to grab some blood crystals. Uh, let's get... I don't know. Okay, let's, let's take those. And... Hmm. And let's go by horse. Let's go back by horse. I think it might be faster from here if we go through the den. And it's the savannah is right after that, so. Let's go through the den. Okay, we are arriving once again at the Mechamosis Aspire. This time we didn't have to climb, we found a way up. I'm going to defeat Kurak now for you. Oh. Jesus, okay. Can we do that now? Can we then access this dungeon from our own transportory stone or do we have to come here all every time? You need back there, okay. Mm -hmm. That's ominous. Alright, we did bring a torch with us, right? Hmm. Okay, there's a little workshop area here. Cool. I am going to explore a little bit of this dungeon. I've never been here. Jesus. Is this the way? This is a way. Let's see back here. That's the entrance. All right. A few sacrifices here. Tumulsi. I agree. Now let's keep going. <laughs> he has a reference to Nyarlathotep. Right, so that's clearly Egyptian influence. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that's a big arena. I wasn't expecting this. There's a few golems. All right. Oh. What is happening? Holy crap, okay. Let's tell this guy to stop following us. So this is this, the first phase, I'm assuming. Okay, there's a guy here. You're taking the horse. Um, should have left him outside. Let's try something here, real quick. Let's try the mace here. Yeah, the mace deals a lot more damage. The star metal was a good choice. Should have brought potions as well. Ouch. Okay, I have to be careful here. I have to really be careful here. Alright, and now... Okay, okay. So far, so good, I guess. Oh, no. Zon what is that? Not sure if you can break this or what's... This is very, very creepy. Okay, there's zombies. Fair enough. For the zombies, we can use our predatory blade. Yeah. <laughs> 
Go more to the center, see. Hmm. Oh, okay. Probably have to destroy these things. Alright, we destroyed one. Let's check on Corpsemir real quick. He's doing okay. Is there another one over there? Mm hmm. This is really cool, by the way. This is very exciting. I'm loving it. Are you okay? Okay, we cannot go and kick his ass just just yet. Uh, there should be one more, at least, right? Yep, it's over here. Ooh, that's a dragon. Ouch. You kill the, the sorcerer, you kill the dragon? Okay. Fair enough. Can we go and attack him? Okay, we can. Karak. Oh, that was... Well, I was going to say that was easy, but I'm going to regret that, yeah, aren't I? What's happening? Okay, I do have a send... Uh, oh, I don't? I don't have my sandstorm mask, okay. Maybe I should leave. I thought I had my sandstorm mask with me. Uh, I don't. Uh, oh, it's... I'm not sure where to go. This is not... this is not good. Not losing health, too much health. This looks like a door. It's not a door. 
Oh, come on, dudes. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, we're not even safe up here? Doesn't seem to be okay. I have no idea what to do here. Can I climb? Cannot climb this. There's something near. Okay, is this an exit? There's a portal here. Should take us outside, right? Okay, we survived. It was scary there for a moment. Uh, I don't know what what we got. We got a Magi Skull, Severed of Kurak. Uh, we got some stuff. I wasn't um, wasn't expecting him to die in one hit. Our zombies did very well against the the other the other sorcerers, that the ones that were defending him. So, okay. All in all, we did get a lot of blood crystal. I know we can trade blood crystal for something around here. So let's just check that out might be a dungeon worth farming what do you do ophidian's magi's cash for 15 blood crystal let's get one of those i have no idea what it has inside severed head of kurak grand ophidian's magi cash okay we give him the head of kurak uh, don't tell me you also I've want the head you. no and I know this guy, you can get stuff from him. Greetings, Wanderer. I suspect an interesting and wine. 200 blood crystals for a crystalline guardian head. Um, not right now. Okay. Okay, so the dungeon is nice and short, uh, right to the point. We we go inside. We we go into a big chamber. We get all the the challenges in the same place. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I was hoping for a bit more complexity, but I did like it a lot. Let's open these. Let's open the Ophidian Magi's cache gave us uh, quite a bit of each resource let's the grand ophidian magi's cash okay so we got a few few things um there should be a place here to put the skulls in right we have a magi skull that should net us a few obulus okay apparently they don't have the giant offering plate here for the skulls Matters not, we'll get on Corpse Mirror. Next time we'll ca we come here, we will leave the horse outside. Because we kind of hunkered down in that corner just trying to defend him. We would have been a lot, a lot more relaxed and walking around easier if we didn't have the horse with us. The zombies did really well though. I mean, they're capable of taking on any type of content uh, at this stage. They do stink, so... I'm not sure if Nefrikari is going to keep using them. Maybe we it's time we start transi transitioning to golems. I know they're not as strong and they have their problems, but... Now we need enough obulus to purchase another worker. What did we get? We got a armor. Okay, 
we already had one, but it is good, good. And okay, guys, this is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got some preparation in before going into the dungeon of Kurak. We managed to kill Kurak and his the minions and his tricks. We defeated everything and at the end we were victorious. We got some rewards, quite decent rewards actually. And this marks the point in which Nefrikari is truly a master sorcerer. It's not the end of his journey, not for a long shot because we're going to keep playing him. We want to tackle most content that the Exiled Lands has to offer and we want to build a big base further north. I hope you enjoyed it. Any comments or suggestions, feel free to comment below. And I hope to see you next time.